Hi, this is Jeffrey Douglas. Uh, today we're out in Anza Borrego uh, State Park. It's one of our favorite locations. And uh, it's evening time. It's in uh, April, late April. It's wonderful weather, uh, very warm. Uh, probably our last trip out here because things get a little bit warm in the, uh, in the summer. But I wanted to do kind of a quick review for you. Uh, we're gonna do a more complete one once we've had some experience with it. So for the longest time, I've been watching uh, and wanting that Yeti hopper bag, but uh, I just can't make the purchase. It's just a lot of money. And I can't say anything ba bad about the Yeti. I think it's wonderfully made, it's beautifully done, uh, but I just couldn't really justify it. And so um, a while back, I came across the fact that Ingle is making a si soft-sided uh, ice chest, and I, um, I unfortunately couldn't see one in a store anywhere, but I went ahead and ordered it on Amazon. And so far, I've been pretty impressed with it. It's about half the price of the Yeti, it's not nearly the quality of the Yeti, but uh, for me, I think it's probably going to be a good fit. And there's a couple things about it that make it pretty compelling. Uh, one of them is it has a sleeve in the front that basically you can put in uh, cold cuts or sandwiches and stuff and keep them out of the ice. The other thing you can do is buy a foil pouch that you can put in your freezer and put into the bag, uh, which is really handy for just uh, wanting to run to Costco and maybe put some stuff under ice or something. So um, here's what the bag looks like. It's, um, it's very well done. They have them in different colors. This is the white one. I got that because I figured want to have some reflected light versus something that actually uh, absorbs more light. Uh, it's pretty good size. I mean, you're not going to carry uh, as much as you would probably in the hopper. But uh, for our use for one or two days, I think it's perfectly apt. So let's get into the, some of the details of the bag. Um, again, this is just a quick review. We will do a better review once, uh, once I've had some time with it. But I definitely want to let you know that uh, so far, we look, looks like it's a really good, uh, good bag at about half the price of the Yeti. On the front, uh, there's a front pouch and a uh, perfect place to put some plates forks and stuff like that. So if you're doing lunch on uh, on the day that you're driving to camp or something, you can have all that stuff handy for you. It's accessible and it's all in one location again. I will say that the, um, the quality of the zippers are not up to the Yeti, uh, but they seem like they're adequate enough. They seem like they're sealed. Um, time will tell whether they hold up or not, but uh, again, I'm not too unhappy because I paid about half of what I would on the, on the Yeti. Top of the bag has two openings. One is the main compartment, and then like I said, there's a secondary compartment here. Um, I've got this thing full of ice today and uh, stuff, so we're not gonna be able to really look at it too carefully, but one of the things that I really like about it is that there is an inner sleeve that you can Velcro out of the bag and take it out and turn it inside out and easily clean it. Uh, one thing I've heard about the Yetis is it's a little bit difficult to clean out. So that inside bag that comes out and is cleanable is an uh, attractive feature for me. Uh, also, if for some reason you tear that, um, you can go ahead and just replace that bag versus having to replace the whole thing. Uh, so the two, the two zippers here, you open this up like that and you can see we've got some um, food and stuff in here. It's all silver lined uh, and it's very, very cold. So, so far it's kept it. Uh, I, I don't want to pretend that these bags are a replacement for a 12 volt or for a, uh, a good ice chest. So, you know, I would expect this to last one or two days. I'm not going to do a kind of review that you can, you know, measure the ice cubes on day one and day two and day three. Um, it's just not that kind of a thing. But one thing that will make a big difference for you is this foil pouch that Engel makes. And basically what you do is you just put this in your, in your freezer and freeze it up and then pop it into the bag. And so far we've been gone in, in the desert most of the day and this thing is still rock solid. So that really helps your ice go a long way. Uh, there are other ice packs, but um, I'm just a big Engel fan, and I think they've done a, a nice job, so I thought I would go ahead and buy this. They do have them on Amazon. They're a little bit more expensive some, than some aftermarkets, but again, I'm pretty happy with this. 
Now one thing that you can do with this, if you want, is this will also fit into this secondary, um, this secondary pouch. Um, but I really would save this for things that you don't really want to get uh, really super cold, like if you make a sandwich or something like that, so you'll have that, but it's not fo floating around in the ice or anything. Um, so again, we can't really pull this out today because it's full of ice, but we will do a secondary review and show you a little bit more about that um, once we get it empty. So again, the zippers are not that easy to, to work, but they're not, not that bad. And I mean, the Yeti's not super, super easy either. All right, so this is a, another thing that I really, really like because if you want to go to the beach or, or someplace, uh, carrying this thing is a little bit heavy, but you actually can go ahead and there is a backpack feature on this, so you can pull out these shoulder pads and then you fasten them down below and that makes this bag really easy to carry on your back. You've got, uh, like I said, you've got the, the side pouches here so you can have the uh, water bottles that go into the side or you can put your wine in or something like that. Um, so that made a lot of sense to me and I really like that feature. I haven't tried it out yet, but uh, probably the next time we go to the beach, we'll give that a try and see how that works. And you're not using it, you can just tuck it away. And again, if you go back over here to the side, these pouches are pretty good size. If you're using this on a boat, or something, you've got plenty of attachments here that you can anchor this bag down so you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. This is a pretty good size water bottle and it fits in there really easily and uh, very snugly. And again, back to the front. Got another pouch here in the front uh, that you could slip some stuff into. Um, also, there is a little clip here if you want to clip your keys or something on there. So, a lot of features here. Uh, just pretty impressed with it. We'll, uh, we'll let you know how it goes long term, but so far I, I recommend it. Testing one, two, three. Action. Action.